Greetings folks, Lance here. What we are looking at here is the BMS test software, which I just set up on a little PC. And I actually did a video on that. So if you want to know how to set this up on a PC, check in the description area below for that link. But what we're going to do now is give remote access to the BMS test software. So that way we can access it via the internet, no matter where we are. And there are a number of different ways of going about this. I may experiment and do a few different things, but I've already used what's called Team Viewer. And it, it is super simple. But before we get into the team viewer, we are going to make sure that some of our power settings are not going to put the computer to sleep. So do a search for edit the power plan. And make sure that the computer never goes to sleep. And there are actually some additional settings under the advanced. I have it set that way. That doesn't look right. Hard disk never goes to sleep. It's not even a hard disk. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and change the wireless even though I'm not using it yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, sleep. We don't want it to go to sleep. Now, to, to change this, you're probably going to have to set it to 1 and then arrow down for never. Uh, hibernate, same way. Set it to 1 and then arrow down. Uh, let's see here. I think... Displays fine, it can go to sleep. But this will ensure that we can access the computer remotely at any time. So now we are going to go to the Team Viewer website and we are just going to select the free download. Now, one of the nice things about this software is that it's free for personal use. So it detected that we are Windows 64-bit, so we're going to select that. Once it's done downloading, we're just going to run it. We're going to accept the default installation. Select yes to continue. Okay, accept the EULA and DPA, continue, it may take a little bit to get the connection, well, may have to do something with the proxy settings on this one, okay, okay, now we're going to create an account, if you don't already have one, so select create one here, okay, when we create the account, we do not want to use continue with Microsoft or continue with Google. We want to create an actual account on the site. And the reason for that is, at least I've confirmed with Google already, is if you use Google, you will not be able to sign in on an iPhone. I've already confirmed that. So we are going to create a regular uh, account on the site without using Google. So just enter the name, email address, click continue, select continue. Then we're going to, now it's already picking up my password. Uh, enter a password. Again, accept, 
the EULA DPA privacy policy. Then we're just going to create my account. Now we're going to do the account verification. I'll do that offline, but you'll need to check your email. Okay, once you receive your email and you've clicked that verify button, let it know that you verified and sign in. And now you're going to en enter the credentials that you just created. Sign in. Go ahead and select the option to always allow TeamViewer to open and select open. And then it's just going to walk you through a few things here. Just letting you know how things work a bit. Just continue through all of these. We're going to get right to the important stuff. You can upload a photo, add your first contact, but this is what's important here. We need to set up remote access on this device. Select continue. You can accept the default name. It pulls this from the computer name. You can change it to something else if you like, but I'm just going to accept that. Assign the device to my account. Start Team Viewer with System. Okay. It is set up. So now if we look at devices, BMS test is there. So it is now sharing this computer for other computers to view it. So what we're going to do next is set up TeamViewer on another computer so that way we can access this computer. So here I am on my Mac Mini, which is what I use day to day for my regular computer. And again, we're at the TeamViewer.com site and very similar to the PC install we're just going to go to the free download and as you can see it automatically detects that we're running Mac OS and there are actually a, a number of different operating systems that TeamViewer supports and we'll even address the iOS here after the Mac but you're just going to download the application and the process is very similar to the Windows process that we just went through. So once the file has been downloaded just go to your finder to the downloads and then run the TeamViewer DMG. Run the install and you're just going to follow the prompts again very similar to the process that we just went through with Windows. But I've already installed this, so we're going to cancel out of this. And we're just going to run the TeamViewer application. Sign in. And you're going to use your credentials that you just created. Continue. Password. So as you can see, since we're logged in, we can actually see that BMS test PC to connect to. Now, you may get prompted to add this device. You may have to do some sort of, uh, they may send you an email to confirm, but we're just gonna do connect. You can see it's connecting and authenticating here. All right, enter the pin. Voila. Look at that. Then you can hide this to see things better. That's it. Look at that. I am monitoring that PC, which is in a shed dedicated to the solar system. 
but I'm monitoring it from here at the house. On the iPhone, we're going to go to the App Store. Okay, on the iPhone, we're going to go to the App Store. Then we're just going to do a search on Team Viewer. Go ahead and select download. Once it's downloaded, we just open it, agree and continue. Let's go ahead and get started here. Well, we'll go ahead and allow for now. Yeah, it's allow. So we we'll select computers and then we're going to log in. So we're going to go ahead and confirm the, via email. Trust the device, go back. So we need to re-enter our password. Once we're logged in, we select My Managed Devices. You'll see the remote system online. Select the two arrows to connect. Let's see if we can get this rotated horizontally here. Yeah. All right. Enter the pin. There we are. Look at that. And then uh, to move the pointer, you have to put your finger on it. It's kind of kind of awkward to do, but it does work. We'll close this little bubble here. And there we are. That is how we attach to a BMS test PC via Team Viewer.